Um, hey guys, so, right now I'm kind of, um, stirred up and rattled, you may say, um, because when we were leaving from school, uh, for to get home when we were on the buses they held us for they held us for like an extra 30 minutes <coughs> and um we I was the air was very foggy and we were looking out the windows we were opening the windows and shouting like what's going on and stuff and um it wasn't long before I noticed that, um, someone's house was, um, burning. And, um, I just can't think of any words right now. Um, the fire department, um, came and they blocked off, like, two streets. And I need to sit up straight. Um, this kind of stuff never happens in our town, and when it does happen, it's kind of a big deal. And um, I'm gonna wait. I need to. Go outside and um, see how smoky it is out there right now. See if there's any sirens. Um, Someone yelled, hey. I don't know if they're talking to me. <coughs> As you can see, I have a cold. <coughs> um, but pretty foggy out and there's no lakes near where I live <coughs> and it definitely doesn't smell like that earthy smell that fog has I mean I can pretty much see the house from here but the it's not fog, it's actually smoke. There's like a ton of it out here. It was starting to clear up from when I got home from school, but it's still very foggy, smoky outside. Um, hold on, Jack, I'm coming in. But, um, yeah, I've just been kind of like skittish. Um, ever since I've been home, um, it's just an instinct that I have, like, this kind of stuff doesn't happen often, and it's not even my house, so, I could imagine what it'd be like if our house were on fire, um, but I'm, I'm watching Ellen DeGeneres videos because she's really funny and she makes me happy, and just to kind of take my mind off the matter of the situation. Um, but here, um, I will. Wow, my eyes are purple in this lighting. Okay, I can't do this anymore. Um, oh, sorry, Jack. I didn't mean to elbow you in the head. 
But, um, basically, they just held us for extra, and we were kind of, like, joking around on the bus a little bit, but we eventually stopped because we realized how serious the matter was. Um, it had gotten through the whole interior of the house and was just starting to come out the exterior from what I saw and man I was like at the time I was like oh yeah this is cool this really never happens in Uppsala so you know but um I think there's an old lady that lives there and a guy um that guy is her son I think and um I think they have a kid because, or they're running a daycare or something because there was a ton of toys in the backyard. But the guy, when we were driving out of the school parking lot in our bus, the guy was just like pacing back and forth in his yard. And I say, and I would have said that his yard was like 30, 40 feet long. And they had a fence around it. And the fireman was spraying the house and they had when they finally got it out there was a ton of smoke and um <sighs> but um basically i just kind of wanted to inform you guys on the the hat I guess um today has been something else and this kind of thing hasn't happened in our town until like five or six years ago I'd say. I think it was more like eight, but yeah, more like eight, seven or eight. But um, it's just crazy how how one day everything is normal, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's a fire. I mean, this thing doesn't happen in a small town like ours. Um, but. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say, so. <sighs> Bye.